Allow me to introduce you to a test. A sauce. It has the wrist wraps and sick wraps. Exists in the circle, in the box. <laughs> yes. 21.2 is a test once known. Roy is a 10 on a scale out of 50. We botched it over. Roy is 50. And 30 is 50. 21.2 is a test once known as 17.1. What is going on, everybody? It is open workout 20.2 day. So the announcement this morning revealed we've got open workout 17.1 as a repeat, dumbbell snatches and burpee box jump overs. I'm pretty confident with this one, although it is just going to be a pure gas test. How's your engine? How hard can you work? Um, so I know I'm going to beat my score from four years ago, um, but fingers crossed I can back last week's effort up with another sort of a, a good ranking finish with this one. So this one's going to open the field up a lot more to a lot of fit guys. Um, so it should be fun. As for last week, um, so the goal was for the Open to finish top 10% in the, the, uh, the continent, right? So we qualified for the next stage. Last week I went top 97%, uh, which I'm pretty happy with. Top, uh, I think it was ranked 241 in Australia, uh, about 320 or something like that in Oceania. So still a lot of guys ahead of me, and even though I'm very happy with the percentile finish, we are aiming to to rank a lot higher than that. So that is the goal. My goal now, still to finish top 10%, that's the, that's the only real goal, but I wanna make 21.1 my worst finish of this CrossFit Open, um, just to build my confidence and boost my ranking. So that's the goal for there. We're going to get ready, get the gym ready for the Open workout. I'm gonna tape lines, get boxes out, uh, make sure we've got right dumbbell weights, all that sort of stuff. So let's get set up. Let's get ready for the Open Workout 21.2. Open Workout 21.2. Let's do it. So it is now Saturday, I'm down at Confront. We're just doing a Saturday class and I am treating this this workout as purely active recovery. So we've got a 30 minute AMRAP just of sort of six, seven movements. I'm gonna grab a super light dumbbell and just, just move with no intensity, conversation pace the whole way. I just need to move my body after last night. <clears throat> after last night, I just mashed myself. I think I, think I just about went as hard as I could. I barely stopped. Um, I'm not saying my time was fast, um, but I felt like I barely stopped. And 17.1, uh, 21.2, this meme is very relevant. And whilst last night I felt great, I felt fine, perfect, amazing. My back now is a little bit tight, so I can't rest. I can't afford to, to rest. I need to move and need to sort of, I love using CrossFit and just functional movements as active recovery, so that's what I'm doing now. Um, and we'll see how I feel later on in the week. Timmy, unfortunately, we pulled the pin at about eight minutes for Tim Olsen. Um, he's just gonna rehab himself a little bit. 
like he didn't hurt himself, but we pulled he, we pulled it up before he did. Um, so he's going to hopefully give that and get another go Monday, Tuesday. Um, but there's some some wicked times coming in from around the world. So another workout where we're just going to see some super super quick times, which is really exciting. <laughs> feel better after a bit of a workout. It was nothing crazy, just light dumbbells. Uh, especially a bit of rowing, if you've got a bit of a tight back or anything, I always find rowing is a pretty good cure for that sort of thing. Get a bit of blood going through the area, but. So I went 14.03 for 21.2 last night. Um, because I did the last one three times, everyone's asking if I'm doing it a repeat, but I don't know if I will. We'll see, we'll see how the leaderboard pans out over the next two to three days and we'll go from there. Tim is gonna to need to do it properly, so I might do it with him. Um, but I was pretty happy with my my score, but we'll just see how the whole leaderboard rolls out. The goal is to have 21.1 as my worst result. So if it blows too far past that one, then I, I might, but let's get on with the weekend. Um, time to relax for a day, to, day or two. Um, and then we'll see how everyone goes Sunday afternoon for 21.2. All right, so it's Tuesday. Um, all the scores are pretty much rolled in from the uh, 21.2 leaderboard. There'll probably be a few trickling in over the next 24 hours or so, but I've taken a bit of a hit this weekend. Um, obviously, I'm very happy with, with my result. Uh, I don't think I could have pushed any harder. I did 14.03, uh, which is a four minute improvement from 2017, which I'm pretty stoked with. Did 18 minutes flat in 2017. Um, so 14.03, that puts me in the 92nd percentile in the men's RX, which which is pretty crazy. It just goes to show like this, this guys, the elite athletes are doing 9.30. Um, there's so many guys with massive engines, um, just ready to work super hard. So shout out to all of those guys. And a couple of a couple of the um, Toowoomba guys locally that sort of had some pretty wicked times. So my ranking took a bit of a hit there. Hopefully 21.3, we can have a bit of a home run with um, some heavy barbells and ascending barbell, hopefully. Hopefully it's not just pull-ups and thrusters. Hopefully there's a bit of a twist in there with some squat cleans or something. If that's the case, hopefully I'll be able to hit a bit of a home run and sort of have a strong finish. So the goal was always top 10% because that's all you need for the next stage. But more specifically, personally, I wanted just to rank as high as I could. So top 100 is the ambitious goal in Australia, but that's what that's what we're going for. So hopefully I get a good workout for the third week of the Open. I'm looking forward to what they announce next Friday. Um, could be anything, but we know it's gonna suck no matter what. So. I will see you guys next week in the 21.3. Uh, see you in the gym.